morning welcome back to the channel got quite a lot of things to do today so i'm uh, going to get out of the shed as quick as possible because it's really cold down here <sighs> very cold but um if you remember from the last video i mentioned about the uh, possibility of the uh, cock bengalese finch and a hen zebra finch coerced together with eggs now what i don't know is whether she was serviced by a cock zebra finch and then foster dad bengalese as sort of like took on the role we won't know but there has been some hatching so i need to get in there and try and have a look it's going to be very difficult to get in there because the house entrance is very small but i don't know if it's psychological or not but to me it sounds like they don't sound like obviously zebra finches i've had loads hatched so i know what they sound like they just sound a little bit shriller and louder than normal but that could just be in my head, I don't know. So I'm going to get in there and have a look. Plus, I've got lots of tidying up to do in there anyway. The bedroom on the inside is pretty much finished now. I had the delivery of the flat pack furniture, which had to do all that. Uh, and it looks, it's really nice and cosy. I'll show you uh, a tour of the inside in a bit. Just a built-in wardrobe left to do, but obviously can't do that yet because of finances. Because I'm still not back to work because of delays in uh, Russia with the lorries coming over the log cabins due to COVID and weather over there. But hopefully they'll start filtering through this week so we can go back to work and earn some money but in the meantime i have been keeping myself busy i've got stuff to do on the outside i've got a linseed oil the end grains of the building i've got to put uh, clear silicon down the joints of the timbers against the two walls and on the corner piece and um, then i'm gonna start rubbing it down and paint it but i can't do that all in one day but it's gonna warm me up so i'm gonna give it a shot um so last week pretty much i kept myself busy by i think monday if you remember the state of the garden it was just literally covered in timber and insulation and plasterboard it was just utter crap everywhere so i decided on monday to get my circular saw out and have a big eight hour burnathon and i just burnt timber from nine in the morning till well i think it was longer than that about 11 hours until about eight o'clock at night till it was all done and then uh, what i've got to do now is clear up the remains and get the old bit of insulation board up as well because it did kind of like simmer away for nearly two days after it had finally gone out so yeah get that cleaned up um what else did i do this week oh i took the patio not the patio table i took the dining room table out of the kitchen and sanded that all down because it had like pen and nail varnish and all sorts all over it so two hours to sand that down effort then i reset the wi-fi which was fun because i'm a smart home kind of guy and i've got like 50 devices connected to the wi-fi so by rebooting it the wi-fi password changed so every single device connected to her over there just were like well i don't know what to connect to i've got no idea so i spent i think that was about six hours resetting all of the smart home controllers and lights and everything only for the wi-fi to go down again which i'm going to phone them up and sort it out hopefully today so the kids might not have no wi-fi today so i'm going to get up there first of all got to get this cleaned up uh, the remains of the ash and the fire and stuff and then i also got to talk about a rat problem i've had a rat elude my rat trap three times this week it's managed to go in there eat its food and look off or it could be a mouse but let's just say it's a rat so yeah gonna get this sorted and then um, i'll show you the avery and stuff Just going to leave that now to recover for probably about two months. Seed it, leave it alone. On to the Avery to clean that. A nice feeling when it's just been cleaned out lovely like that all fed watered clean scrub no poo anywhere well obviously there still is but um it's just short-lived to be honest it really is so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to try and go in and see if i can get the camera into that 
box to see if I can see because I know what obviously baby zebra finches look like so it's to see if I can get the camera in there and focus with enough light to see if these look any different or not to see whether they are just pure zebra finch breed or they are a hybrid breed but um, a little bit of bad news you know uh, I mentioned on the last video last week about the two fledglings that just were struggling they seem to struggle to fly I mean obviously when I have fledglings fledge usually obviously end up on the floor because they're tired and they're not sure but once they get used to what they're supposed to be doing and fly it and then up they go and they're gone and they're up with the parents doing what they do these two just milled around the floor uh, so I left them like it was requested to just leave them not put them back in the box and after a couple of days the older of the siblings the fledglings um, he started to fly but then he'd always end up back on the floor with his sibling they'll cuddle up overnight uh, and a couple of days ago I found the smaller one had passed away inside the quail's indoor bit which is kind of where everyone goes to die not that people die often but if they die they want to go in there and die uh, so that was unfortunate so I removed that one uh, and then yesterday the other one was in there and I sort of like looked at him it seemed all right and then he come out he popped down the steps and he was just sitting there chirping up to his mum and dad and then he went back in there and an hour later he was dead so unfortunately don't know what went wrong don't know why maybe it's really cold but just I don't know why they wouldn't fly but anyway right so let's get in there and uh, try and get into that box just got to try and get dad out first he's uh he's in there we'll have a look in this box you're gonna have to move girl Ooh. she's not happy at me right pops you're gonna have to come out so we can have a look come on come on come on dad come on sorry mate sorry all right see if we can get in here and have a look this is difficult this is difficult now I don't actually know how many are in here I can't really see they're kind of burying themselves down mm. yeah can't really focus on them yeah it's gonna be really difficult to tell to be honest yeah um, yeah I can't really tell. they look like babies and finches to be honest but they're probably a bit too young to tell anyway so I'm gonna wait for them to get a bit older they're probably in the, like the worst worst house it's got the smallest tightest and i just cannot get the camera in there uh different house not a problem so i'm gonna just leave them to a little bit older and then i'll try and have a look again but um i wouldn't mind them to be a hybrid because it'd be quite fascinating but looks like pure zebra finches so what i'm gonna do now is go over over there i'm gonna try and sort my rat trap out uh because obviously i've had a rat i was using a fishing line i think it was about like 15 pound fishing line to go from the actual metal clip uh to the uh well, i had some toast and peanut butter, butter the other day and uh i had some of the peanut butter on the bit of the crust of the toast and i got the fishing line and done like a lasso loop and pulled it over the food and uh it ate it and even like broke through the fishing line whilst it was inside did set it off so again i've done the same thing i actually you know what? i used a what's it covered in peanut butter I've done the same thing again and uh that what's it was gone this morning and the fishing line was broke again so i'm going to use a very fine bit of like wire that you tie uh plants up, just plants up with and hopefully might catch a rat tonight so i'm going to do that that is so so sensitive now it really is so i've put the wire through the apple and then coated it in peanut butter and i've set it and i don't know if you can see you might be able to see i'll move it near you might not be able to see but that is literally just just touching so the slightest movement boom hopefully there'll be a rat in the morning so i'm going to stick it down there and see what happens overnight because he's definitely hungry and he likes his peanut butter so fingers crossed he's nice and cozy and contained in there in the morning so i can dispose of him somehow yeah come on let's get it gone elusive little buggers 
I'd actually convinced myself, like almost 100%, that I'd come out here this morning and there'd be a rat in that trap. But mm, they're too smart, they're all uninterested. So uh, fingers crossed maybe tonight, I reckon. So uh, yeah, fun day Sunday, lots to do. Starting with a date with the ironing board. Ironing, what a marvellous job. I don't know why we just save all the ironing for like one day and then stand there for like two hours breaking your back ironing. But it's all done and it's been dispersed with the children into their respective rooms. So what I've done is just clear siliconed down these timber joints here and the timber joints on the wall, that side and this side, which stops the moisture from soaking in. And I'm gonna get the linseed oil and I'm going to paint the end grains of these two logs here, which again stops the moisture traveling into the timber to protect it. And then it's gonna be ready. I'm not gonna do it today, obviously, because I'm running out of light, but it's gonna be ready then for sanding and treating on the outside. And then the building's pretty much done. So I'm gonna get this done first. And then I have promised the girls all week long, because it's been lovely and sunny all week and they've been bugging me to go on a bike ride. So I'm gonna get this painted with the linseed oil and then take them on a quick bike ride walk because I'm not going on a bike because I haven't got one. But they'll go on theirs. So yeah, get this done then just take them out for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes around the block and then uh, carry on with stuff. Yeah. Honestly, it really is like, a, it's a beautiful spring-like winter's day. Uh, so yeah, I've took the girls out on their bikes, they enjoyed it. Uh, I really need to start to encourage Rosie to get off her stabilizers because she's five and a half years old and she kind of like, she knows how to do it, but she's just being lazy. So might just whip them off next time, but no, it's absolutely gorgeous. It really is nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you in to show you the uh, in internal side of the bedroom, which is pretty much finished, like I said. So come on, I'll take you in and have a look. Come, take you in. Here it is. Between myself and Emma, we've, we, we, we envisaged it exactly like it is. Like the paint, the, the colour, everything. And I think it's worked out really, really well. I mean, it is, like I said, it's so, so cosy. We have got the built-in wardrobe that's going in this corner. We've still got to get that done. Uh, but like I said, I'll go back to work, get the materials, which is then going to be uh, glossed white. So it brings a bit of light into this corner. But um, yeah, if you just have a look around, it really has gone together exactly as we planned it. I mean, the curtains have got like a, the wallpaper is kind of like got a glittery sheen in it which is really nice, uh, especially in the artificial evening light. And um, so are the curtains, the curtains have got like a, a glittery sheen to them as well. And there's obviously like lots of curtains because obviously we had to put them on both of the windows and then obviously over the new doors, which obviously you can see out to the Avery. And then obviously curtains on this side, on the doors into the lounge. Now with the door open into the lounge, it is very, very cozy. And then I had to get, uh, my, uh, Emma ordered the dressing table and then her bedside tables, which I came a day earlier. So I put them together, which gave me a good head start to do the dressing table when that arrived, because it's basically the same thing with a lid on the top and then a little stool and a mirror. And we've got a TV with a fire stick, which is lovely. And then I actually uh, sanded down a piece of 6x2 timber to make a nice little shelf. And then I've got that fireplace, which really sets it off. We've not got it on, we just have the lights on, but it, it's just so cozy at night time, really is, really, really is. It is just, like I said, it, it, it's different at night time. It just looks nice and cozy. But in the daytime, it's lovely, nice and airy, and I've got the bird feeder literally right out the window because you can see it straight through into the lounge so I can see little blue tits and stuff eating their food because I love my birds, obviously. But because uh, the lighting situation in here, we didn't, I didn't want a big light uh, purely because I didn't really think we'd need one. And secondly, we didn't have to have, if we had like a lighting circuit, then we'd have to have a, another consumer unit in here, which is obviously more money. So I didn't have a big light up here, but 
Emma kind of likes one if it's like, you know, just want to come in here quickly get something. So I've put this light strip up here, which is obviously with its LED spots. It's very bright, but yeah, I love it. I mean, I hope you like it. We like it. I mean, like I said, it kind of looks like a beach hut sometimes, uh, but it's just so nice. And it is like, the trouble is though, it's still, it's so dark, so dark in the lounge, which now, if you look out here, you can see where the mirror is on the wall. Can you see it? Right, the mirror is on the wall out there. Now, I'm thinking of knocking through the wall and putting a window. So we've got natural light going back into the lounge because like I said, it is, it is still dark and dingy and I can't think of anything other than putting a window in there, which is not gonna be much. Take the bricks out, lintel, window, probably pick up window for about 50 quid. And then I'll have a light back in the lounge again because it is a bit, a bit depressing for me. I don't really like it. But yeah, that's the, um, that's the bedroom. And like I said, it looks really, really nice and it, it is, what we imagined on the floor obviously everything went well everything is just lovely i'm just ranting now shut up then yeah and it looks nice at night like i said So yeah, there it is. It's nice and cosy and very warm. I have to turn the heating off on the first night. But yeah, just get the wardrobe done and then we're set and finished in there in our new bedroom. And then I'm going to obviously finish like the outside. Like I said, I've still got a gutter in to put on. Not done that yet. And then obviously I want to get this all painted nicely with kind of clear coat or something. Something natural to bring the knots out. But just, I was going to keep it that colour, but I don't know. And then there's still other stuff to do in the bedroom. So thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.